Hear he, hear he. I'm trying to look sort of renaissance-y for this Sunday fun day. With the cowboy boots still. They're yeah. in my, they're tucked in my jeans, oh, you know, so much better, for baby. effect. <laughs> so Jaybird Winery uh, is in our hometown. And if you've been to the Renaissance Fair in Minnesota, they make all the mead for it. And they were kind enough to give us some to try. And we wanted to incorporate it in a Sunday fun day. And we're doing it with friends. Excuse you. <laughs> so if they don't drink it all before we can roll, we'll go see what the dice will give us. <laughs> our liquor is a four gray duck vodka. Emily rolled a one for blackberry mead. Taylor rolled a four for cottage. I rolled a three for mint. And Addie rolled a two for forest fruit. Mixer is a five lemon lime pop. We're starting with vodka, which I guess we could have had worse, worse selections as far as the liquor goes. <laughs> <That's just> true. <laughs> At least we have good vodka this time. It's gray duck, not that ugly car cop we've been drinking the past. Minnesota. Don't you know? You betcha. Uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> Seven up, he didn't say that. We're, seven we're pouring up, yeah. seven up. We are. we are on top of this. Mm -hmm. We have not been drinking all day. <laughs> and now, the mead. And which one is that one? Uh, cottage. What do you think, Taylor? Real good. It's real good. All right. Woo! <laughs> Some frosted Spicy. fruit. Ooh, shit. <laughs> <Okay. Gusta>? <laughs> <laughs> and mine, the mint. I'm super excited about. Minty? Yeah, it's very minty. <laughs> minty and fresh. <laughs> and Emily's blackberry tart. Hey, that was supposed to go in the drink. Oh no, this is going to my stomach. <laughs> We don't have horses, so you have to settle for a corgi and whatever I that know. thing is. <laughs> so, uh, so what are you guys feeling on this? Hey, let's go. Let's I go. Think it smells delicious. Yes. All right, pitter patter. Pitter patter. Huzzah! Huzzah! <laughs> yep, I can Wait, drink that. Yo, oh, this is that goes down easy. definitely oh, yeah. not bad. I understand why everyone was drunk in this time period. <laughs> <laughs> I think we have discovered that mead is not only good by itself, but it is also good as a mixer. Ooh. For mine, I'm gonna give a solid uh, a solid nine because this is just a good mix of mint mead with Seven Up and vodka. I I would definitely order this at a bar if they had mead. And I hate to copy, but I have to go with a nine as well because I have the forest fruit and it's the perfect amount of sweet, especially for those of you who have a sweet tooth. <laughs> and mine's gone, so probably, a, probably zero, at least a nine. Zero out of ten, I have nothing in my yeah, glass. <laughs> Very good, yeah. I'm gonna do a 9.5. It literally just tastes like the mead to me and I already liked it, mm -hmm. so I'm definitely like 9.5, 10. Definitely check out Jaybird Wine uh, Mead out of Stanchfield. It's excellent, once again, if you've been to the Ren Fest, this is the mead you were drinking. They've got a lot of options, much more than they're at the Ren Fest, so you should drive up, give them a try. They have an awesome tasting room. It's just a good time all together. They will get you where you probably shouldn't drive home. <laughs> so drink some Jaybird wine, meadery, winery, mead. Just drink it. Just drink it. <laughs> Sunday fun day. Sunday fun day. Huzzah! 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 And we have two more meads that we did not try yet that we are going to drink while playing Risk Lord of the Rings, while watching Lord of the Rings, while <laughs> drinking Odin and Apple Mead. While playing the Lord of the Rings drinking game. What? <laughs>